Good morning everyone, this is Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about using Windows PowerShell to do network traces. So the first thing that we uh, want to do is we want to um, remove any existing sessions that may be around uh, there. So we use remove uh, net event session, and um, when we do, um, we'll see, you know, actually, you know, what I've got right now is an error. And the reason is uh, because I'm not running Windows PowerShell as an administrator. So to do any of this kind of stuff, to do any packet tracing uh, or anything like that, we have to be running Windows PowerShell with administrative rights. The error message doesn't really tell you that very well. It says access to SIM resources not available to the client. That's actually a little bogus. But if you look a little closer, you can see that it says permission denied. So I'm going to close this out, and uh, then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to um, start uh, Windows PowerShell with um, admin rights. And so I just say uh, run as administrator after I right-click on it. And then, of course, that gives you a... Um, then that, uh, that also kind of um, it gives you a prompt, and then you can kind of set it up to do this. So um, I've got um, got Windows PowerShell here, and um, so it always opens up in System 32. So I'm going to change my uh, my location to the C drive, and uh, by by doing that, it uh, just gives me more room. So I say remove um, net event session. Net event session, press return. And if there's one there, it'll delete it. If there's not, it's not going to give you an error. And so now I'm going to say a new uh, net event session and um, specify a name for it. And we're going to use this name. And um, the name is, um, I'm just going to call it session one. And um, now, when I create this, it's going to hand back a, a new session object. And the session object is going to have the uh, log file path to it. And I don't like doing a lot of typing. I don't, don't do like a lot of um, you know, even tab completion. So this log file automatically goes to Windows System 32, Config, System Provider, or System Profile, AMP Data, Local, Net Event, Trace, ETL. So it's pretty deeply nested, like five or six different levels down. And it would be nice to not have to um, type this or even tab through all of that. So I just store this in a variable, I call it dollar session, and then I say it's equal to this. Then I press enter, uh, boom. So now we've created the session. We're not doing anything yet, we're just creating a session. Now the next thing that I need to do is to add a, uh, add a tracer. Uh, or a provider rather. Now I can use uh, git etw trace provider uh, look for this stuff. The, pro the tri provider that we really want to use is the uh, Microsoft uh, Windows TCP IP and um, so uh, I'm actually just going to like kind of copy that so I don't have to like you know bother trying to type that. I could look it up and store that name as well. So I say add uh, net event uh, provider and then I specify the name for that uh, provider and uh, here it is the uh, TCP IP provider let's say I just copied that I've got it stored somewhere and then I specify the session name and that is the session um, that is stored in my session variable I could use dollar session dot name probably pick that up but since it's a nice short session name I can just say session one and say groovy so now we're adding the provider. Um, oh, you whiner. Uh, why did you say you can't find that? That's the Microsoft Windows uh, TCP IP provider. That is the name of that provider. Uh, that is the name of my session. Oh, I um, left the one out. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we press enter. Um, it comes back. Uh, specify, uh, and it gives us back a provider um, information. So it's going to match all keywords there. You can see the FFFFFs um, come along there. Um, 
we're doing a level four trace. We could change it to do different to other levels if we wanted to. The session name is there, and then the uh, provider that we're using. So now the next thing that we want to do is to actually start this. So I say start uh, net event set, uh, session and uh, specify the name, and the name is session one, and uh, press enter after I've closed my quotes, and there that is. And so now we're actually doing the trace, and um, so it's going along, la, 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 whatever, you know. And now the, the thing that you want to do if, if you're doing this for diagnostics and for troubleshooting, this is the point in which you would take the time to reproduce the error. Uh, you, you know, whatever it was that was causing your error, that was causing things to fail, or whatever was being really slow, uh, this is where you do that. And then when you're done, then uh, you, um, you stop the session. And uh, so uh, we just say stop uh, net event session. And um, you need to specify the name. If you don't specify the name, then it'll, it's going to like you know whine. And uh, so uh, session one and uh, press enter. So now we've stopped that session. And in order to uh, to read this, uh, which is what I, uh, and parse it, which is what I'm going to do to, uh, tomorrow, uh, use uh, get one event and uh, specify the uh, the file uh, to this, you know, the path to the log, and uh, that path is in session. Um, da, 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 da. It's our um, the local file path. And uh, then you have to tell this that uh, that we're going to do this backwards, and so you specify oldest first. And then when you press that enter, then uh, you get all of your packets coming back. So that's all there is to it. So if you um, take a look at the commands that we used, uh, so we removed the net event session first, then we created a new session, uh, we added the uh, net event provider. Then we started the session. After a given time, we stopped it, and uh, then I read it from Git One Event. So that's all there is to do, uh, to doing a um, network trace using Windows PowerShell. And I'm Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy, and I uh, hope that you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.